Welcome back. Labor this week released some proposed changes to its selection processes, including one that would allow local electorate committees to ban men from running in certain seats. It's part of an overall aim to boost the number of women in the caucus to 45% after the next election and 50% after 2017. Labor leader David Shearer has already said he doesn't like it, amongst other things, and joining a number of male Labor MPs who say candidates should be selected on merit, not on some kind of quota system. But the final decision will be made at the party's uh, conference in November. Labor's Women's Affairs uh, spokesman Sue Moroni uh, joins me now. Thank you, Sue. Nice to see you in the studio. Nice to be and, here, uh, Chris Trotter, left-wing political Commentator Chris, could you believe what you were seeing this week? Look, I have to congratulate uh, the Labour Party. Uh, 25 years on, it has stolen the internal organisational policies of the new Labour Party, <laughs> which had quotas from day one, 50% uh, uh, in all candidate slates. I have to say, though, I was a little surprised as well as, as uh, you know, reminded of the past because... I think if you if you want to if you want to go hunting for votes on the high peaks of principle, be prepared for the sort of results that the NLP got, which is five six percent. You think there's going to be a big backlash to this, is what you're saying? Yes. Well, I certainly encountered that when I was an NLP candidate mm -hmm. on the doorsteps uh, in Dunedin, and it wasn't from working class men; it was from working class women. And one elderly lady, she she just put up a hand and said, "Stop." Now listen to me, son, she said. It makes as much sense to put someone into Parliament because of what they haven't got between their legs as it does putting them in because of what they've got. He, she said, look, the only thing that matters is what they've got in their heads and what they've got in their hearts. You see, Sue, that's the reaction from ordinary New Zealand, isn't it? That you've uh, walked into a bit of a minefield on this, haven't you? Well, first of all, I need to clarify that we're not banning men. I mean, they're nearly half of the population, so it would be ridiculous for us to say we're banning men, and we're not. So we need to get that clear first and foremost. And I can understand the reaction if people thought we were banning men. I'd have that reaction myself if I thought that we were banning men. But the reality is we've had now for decades about 70% of our parliament are men and only about 30% and we need to move forward on that. We are celebrating this year 120 years so of support, women's suffrage. So you, su you will be voting for this? You support this move? Uh, we all agree in the Labour Party that we want 45% women your in our entire next... entire caucus agree with this proposal? Yeah, in terms, of no, in, in, in terms of improving women's representation in parliament, we've got absolute agreement on that and this week when we actually got Mika Whaitari mm. into to our caucus, I can tell you that the most delighted person in the room was David Shearer, closely followed by but Shane, Shane Jones. David Shearer doesn't support quotas, he said so yesterday. Mike Williams no, said, it I looks like Mike... you're angle parking in a parallel universe. Well, <laughs> let's clarify David Shearer's position, because he has said that he wants to get 45% women after the next election. But not in our with Labor, a quota system. In our, in our Labor not caucus. with a formal quota system. Well, call it what you like. But we are absolutely determined to get 45% women at the next election and then 50% so of the election after that. So you will support this? It's, it's got your vote? To get improve women's representation, 45% and 50%. Where we've but it got hasn't some got debate, your leader's vote. Where we've got some debate... It hasn't got your, can we address this question? Yeah. It hasn't got your leader's vote. No, that has. Where we he have said got yesterday debate... He he doesn't support this quota system, this, this current system, this proposal he doesn't support. Now, what he said was that he supports getting 45% and 50% women into our caucus. But not this we're, way. That's right, and that's where we've got the debate. Mm. We've got the debate about the mechanism, so we're clear on what we want as the result. We've got some debate around the mechanism, and I have another proposal going to our so conference on that out. same issue. So this proposal won't make it? I don't know, because we haven't had the debate yet, but I've got an alternative proposal that I've worked up that's going to be debated at our conference also. And what does that say? It says that all of our candidates, no matter what gender will have to pass a certain criteria before they're even going to be considered. What's the criteria? And then, well, make sure that they're competent, that they're not out there in Gilmore. That should be there now. Is that not there now? Well, how did Aaron Gilmore get in? So, you know, well, so we make too. sure we have no, no more of the Aaron Gilmores of the world there. Mm. And then we say, OK, look at the field. If there's an outstanding man, he'll get selected. So you're putting that proposal up because you think if this one's dead in the water, If there's you? an outstanding woman. Can I explain it first? No, but can you just answer that question? Do you think this one's dead in the water? No, I think that they're all live options for debate. They're Chris all Trotter, live options for debate. Do you think this debate. one's dead in the water? If you did look at Cheryl's well, reaction. It is, it is now. <laughs> um, it's, it's one of those things which... A leader should have seen this coming, to be perfectly honest. And that's the Helen point, Helen Clark would have, seen this, would, have, would have seen this coming, and she would have said, don't. I know what you're trying to do. 
I agree with you, mm. but don't, because all anyone will remember about the conference in 2013 mm. is this thing, the man ban. And what's more, just as you've, you've illustrated, Duncan, it's now turned into a test for David Shearer. Mm. Can he get this rolled, or will the conference roll out? I will just put it to, to you, sir, and I think picking up on Chris Trotter's point, which is a very good one, I think David Shearer did see this coming because he's uh, on the council, he sits in those meetings, so does Grant Robertson, Claire Curran as well as the caucus rep. This must have gone back to caucus in the past few months. It must have been discussed. Oh, it's no surprise. Look, it's been discussed in our party since our last annual conference. Mm. There was a working party set up on the gender issue because we hadn't done enough work on it at the last conference. So th there's been uh, a lot of discussion around it. And we're still working out when we get to our conference there will be a good, robust debate on the floor about the mechanism. And that's right and proper in the year 2013. Has David Cunniff given you his support for this proposal? For this, I, I haven't talked with David Cunniff about this particular proposal, but he's a member of the Labour Party, as I am, and we'll debate it at conference in November. Do you accept, in its uh, current state, you've got problems with it? I accept that there are a range of views on it, and that's within the Labour Party and externally. That's why we're going to have a good debate about it at conference, it's and we're going to get it right. It, because it's not right now? Well, because what I've got great faith in is the collective wisdom of our party membership to actually make a practical decision about how we improve but, the representation of women in our parliament. But what interests me, and I think you're being parliament. quite honest, actually. I think you're being quite honest, and I appreciate that. I think what you're telling me here is uh, this is a work in progress. It hasn't been good this week. It's not working in its current form, and you want to refine it. It is a work in progress, and we've got a lot more debate to be had on it. It's interesting too, isn't it, Chris Trotter, because I think um, that they had the Prime Minister a bit on the hook this week over Kim.com, and then suddenly, Wednesday, Thursday, what do you see? I know. This. I know. Every time the poor old Labour Party gets up, it trips over its other foot. I just, I, I, I weep sometimes um, for Labour. Quite honestly, uh, I do. But... But, but this, I think, should come as, as, as a lesson to, to all of them, that, you know, in politics, it pays to look a little further down the track, because that way you avoid the pitfalls that you can so easily fall into. And, and here's another classic uh, example. Uh, and, you know, it, it is going to be interesting in November, because you're quite right. This has come through every level of the party. This is not a surprise. This has been debated quite closely at, at all the levels of the Labour Party. And so it, it's going to be odd. Uh, I mean, basically, the pushback is coming from the caucus, um, who realise, I think, perhaps you know, more acutely than perhaps some of the you know, eager beavers in the party, that this... The wings on this aren't strong enough um, to get it I off mean, the Josie ground. I mean, Josie Pagani, who obviously um, a candidate from the past of Labour, has said mm. that well, you should be discussing housing, jobs... And we uh, are. And you are, but the problem mm. is you're not discussing it this week. The domination this week has been gender inequality well, in 2013. The media's been quite there. Fo the media's quite focused on that, but we're really focused on um, rolling out our power, our plan to bring down power prices, our plan to build 100,000 well, houses no, and create talking, jobs. Yeah, but people aren't talking... <laughs> I mean, you're so, at 41% well, women in the caucus. You, you you're, you're anyway. If you're you lay there. a dish yeah. in so front of the media, you cannot then blame them for eating. Well, let's well, let, let's we're, not look we're at the man band story. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen, sorry. No, no we're, we're really focused on all of those issues and we're multitasking. We can do all of those things while thinking about fairness and, and equity. Men, men at the can same multitask, time. can't they? <laughs> all of our Labour caucus can. Absolutely. What, okay, well, now if, you're looking at, if you're looking at quota or merit, what about um, gays? What about Māori? I mean, it's the obvious next question. Don't worry, don't well, the first, the, first thing yeah, next. the first thing we've got to address is making sure we've got representation for the majority of the population in this country. 51% mm. of, our, of our population are women. Our party wants to be more representative. And we aside, want to represent what the society looks but like. But jokes aside, my, my question well, is... I wasn't is, joking is, about 51% no, of No, I'm not joking about that either. But, no, but, 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 but seriously, would you look at a uh, quota for Māori? Would you look at this sort of mechanism for gay but disabled? I'm, it's I'm, not a, I'm not joking either, Duncan. No. That is next. It's, it's not an is issue. It next? No, it's not an issue <laughs> that's in front of our, in front of our conference not? at the they moment. They deserve equality yes, too. Well, we address that through our list Chris process. Chris it's on the agenda. I was no. talking to someone um, just last night, and and the model that the the Green Party uses is now under serious consideration um, by the party organisation, mm. and they very much uh, weight their uh, their list selections according to um, gender, according yeah. to sexuality, yeah, according to race. Oh, look, we've always done that. <laughs> can I can I be clear about that? We've yeah. always used our list process to make sure that we so why that stop we reflect. Just women? Why stop at women at 2017? Why not, as Chris says, has been discussed? Look at disabled, gay, Maori, well, we already do specific. that. We already do that through our list process to make sure that mm. we are representative of the New Zealand community that are we are there to, women? to so, represent. And you do that with women too, surely. 
And that's why you don't and need this mechanism. And we've got to 41%. And, Pretty good, isn't it? And it's getting there. But um, we want 50% in 2017 so that we can really stand up and say, here we are representing the New Zealand community, we look like the New Zealand community, Before and we... here we are in Parliament. <laughs> Be before we go, if you look at David Shearer's position on this, do you accept he doesn't support this proposal? I don't accept that he... Uh, I, what I know is that he wants 50% women in our caucus in 2017. Where the debate is around the mechanism, and it's a good debate to be having. And you think that he'll lead your party into the next election? Yes, I do. 100%? Yes. So I appreciate your time, Chris Trotter. I appreciate... Do you think Shearer will lead them into the next election? Oh, on the Labour Party's record to date, I wouldn't bet on anything. Oh, there we go, Sue. <laughs> Just maybe a dollar or two there. I appreciate both your time, Chris <laughs> Trotter. I'm a betting person. And Sue Maroney. <laughs> you have to be. You're in the caucus. All right, uh, Chris uh, Trotter, of course, and Sue Maroney. Right,